2021 BMW M5 Competition Review, Supercar and Sedan Clothing. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. The 2021 BMW M5 competition is, simply put, one of the fastest cars we've ever driven. Not just one of the fastest sedans, either, this thing is up there with McLaren, Ferrari, and Porsche in terms of straight line speed. And the numbers support it, 60 miles per hour happens in 3.1 seconds, 124 miles per hour happens in 10.8 seconds, and flat out, the M5 comp will hit about 190 miles per hour, and that's with electronic limiters. It's absurd. The secret to that extraordinary oomph is what's hiding under the hood, BMW's very good twin turbocharged 4.4 liter V8. That same engine adorns other models like M8 Competition and X5M Competition, two vehicles we've praised extensively for their abilities off the line, but the M5 Competition is easily our favorite of the bunch. Not only is the M5 ridiculously quick, but it's also refined, loaded with tech, and handsome comparatively. Thankfully, BMW decided against the awkward vertical grills of the new M3 and M4, even though this schnoz does grow slightly compared to last year. The company does ask quite a lot for its fastest sedan dash $111,100 to start, but that feels like a small price to pay for a car this good. Unlike some other fast sedans, the BMW M5 competition is very understated. This is not a car that will draw crowds at the grocery store, and frankly, we sort of like it that way. The only evidence that there's a twin turbocharged V8 lurking underhood is the blacked out grille the matching M5 badge embedded within it, plus the trio of large lower vents for additional cooling. And, yes, the M5's kidney grille is slightly larger this year, but it's nothing offensive. Outside of that, the M5's headlights, lightly updated for 2021, are marginally different from what you get on the traditional 5 Series, as are the darkened taillights and the 20-inch Y-spoke wheels are unique, but not overbearing. Our car also wears a $3,600 frozen metallic paint job, the most expensive hue of the 12 available colors. The matte finish is nice, but it does tend to attract dirt spots easily. And of course, you can't take this car through a traditional car wash for fear of ruining the expensive finish. The M5 Comp isn't all that different from the traditional 5 Series inside, either, not that that's a bad thing. The general layout consists of the standard model's same dual 12.3-inch screens and basic dash design. But the M5 gets sportier Silverstone leather buckets, a welcome $3,600 option, a new Alu carbon trim on the dash, and M badges dotting the steering wheel, footwells, floor mats, and seats. The optional Silverstone leather buckets in the M5 are simply fantastic. They contour perfectly to the driver's frame, with impressive bolstering for on-track shenanigans and ample back and butt support for long-distance cruising. There's lots of headroom in the groom, too, with a solid 40.7 inches and 41.4 inches, respectively. Those figures are nearly better all around compared to cross-shopped options like Audi RS7, Dodge Charger Hellcat, and Mercedes-AMG E63, only the Charger has slightly more room for feet, 41.8 inches. The rear bench matches the cushiness of the front buckets and offers great long-term support. None of the cars in this class excel in rear passenger volume, but the M5 second row is solid, the 38.5 inches of headroom are better than Charger and E63, and the 36.5 inches of Legroom are slightly better than Merc. The Charger is still the Legroom King, though, with 40.1 inches. Our only complaint with the M5 Comp is ride quality. The lower ride height, stiffer springs, and stronger anti-roll bars over the standard M5 means that even in comfort mode the ride can be harsh. The optional 20-inch wheels and ultra-thin Pirelli P0 tires don't help, either. The staple of any modern BMW interior is what the company calls its Live Cockpit Pro. That setup comes standard on most high-end BMWs like the M5, and as an option on other lesser models, with things like navigation, Wi-Fi, gesture control, a head-up display, the Hey BMW voice assistant, and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto all standard. In the past, we've had issues with BMW's wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay connections. In our tests of the X5 and competition, X7, and 3 Series specifically, the system would either disconnect at random or refuse to connect at all. Thankfully, BMW seems to have addressed those previous qualms here, wireless Android Auto connected seamlessly and never stopped working during our 
Housing those features is a sharp and fast 12.3-inch touchscreen running the latest iDrive 7.0 entertainment system. This setup is very easy to parse, with a well-designed home screen layout and a rotary dial, located just next to the gear shifter, that makes it all simple to navigate, even CarPlay and Android Auto. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.